morning everyone how are you guys doing i have rarely been so excited for a day as i am today because as you can see i've obviously got my lotus elise behind me but really really excitingly last night i drove up a late night drive up to hethel the home of lotus so basically taking my car back to where it was built right now we are at the lotus factory basically with the lotus test track behind us right there so what's going to be happening is i am going to be learning how to drive a race car effectively with the Lotus Driving Academy. The guys have been amazing and have welcomed me up here really, really nicely. Got my car parked here, but then there were a bunch of Lotuses around me, including this Lotus Elise 220 Cup, which I'm gonna be taking out. It's got a few cameras on it now to learn sort of all the basics of driving. So I think we're gonna be doing like a brake tear, some oversteer, some understeer, all these different things. Today is going to be I mean one of the best days ever. I could barely sleep last night with excitement. I'm just so excited to basically learn how to become uh, a decent driver. So here's the bad boy we're going to be taking out first. Lotus Elise 220 car. So we've got more power, more grip, more downforce through this, this aero kit that goes all the way around which is unreal. It's also got a very cool license plate. And the green actually looks quite cool. So I'm excited to experience that. Hopefully, I should be able to drive it decently because I have one, which is fairly similar. It's so exciting. It's also quite cold. So I'm gonna hop in the car and get started. Right inside the car now. This is exciting. Here we go. We're gonna go and look at uh, some braking now then. Okay. And as you'll see in this car, we've removed the stereo and we've actually nice put this switch in which enables us to turn the ABS on and off. We were teaching people how to brake, install, be yeah. able to turn the car yeah. in a lock-up situation. This basically gives us the opportunity of looking at both. That's very cool. The That's very cool. Doing so. Obviously we've got the camera crew just sitting here to the yeah. right of us, so we'll avoid those. Yeah, yeah. Basically we're just getting the car temperature. We'll do this first brake at 60 miles an hour, third gear. Okay. So the key to doing all these activities, Seb, is to maintain the speed so yeah. you're keeping that consistency. Okay. Okay. If you change your, your speeds and your approaches, everything's going to change. Okay. Yeah. So I've got the ABS on, coming up to 60 miles an hour, you might just want to brace yourself in the moment yeah. as we come into it. So it's an emergency stop situation, brake, 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 brake. You can see the ABS Impressive. there has allowed us to brake and still turn yeah. into the box. Yeah. Here we go, guys. So I say, this is done in third gear. Third and I suggest gear. we do it maybe a, a lesser speed to begin with, just to get you a bit of a 40 goal post, yeah? So oh, third okay. gear, 40 miles an hour, into the brake and avoid. Keep going, keep going, keep going, and that's it, clutching and brake. Okay, good man. Can definitely carry a bit more speed and brake a bit Absolutely, later. Absolutely, yeah, let's uh, try and give it a bit more power. By myself in the car, guys, should we leave without an instructor? We are now on the skid pad. They're just gonna put the sprinklers on. I'm like a kid at a candy shop. They're like, oh, we're gonna put you on a massive circle, wet it for you, and you can slide. And I'm like, that's, that's legal? I didn't think that would ever be legal, but yeah, it's cool. That is so much fun. <laughs> it's insane. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Everything you, you think you know and that you're taught sort of not to do, this is just not doing that and pushing everything to the limit. But then it's little things like I was struggling with when you get the understeer lifting off too much, that turning into oversteer. So what you need to do more is just lift off very gently so that... Exactly. Feel where the grip's at. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's the thing. I mean, but it is, I mean, having these facilities and everything is just incredible. So. I'm a very happy bunny right now. <laughs> well, the car's out on track. 
Um, they're doing some drifting stuff. I have decided that I'm gonna use this drone to try and do some filming. So we've got a drone here. They're actually gonna let me give it a go. So I've been flying it a tiny bit for like two minutes just now, but it's so epic the shots you can get with it. So I will film with the drone and then I'll show you the shots that I get with the drone. Oh look, the car's coming around. Are they gonna manage to slide it? Oh, 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 oh. Get the rev limiter. We are about to go out in this Exige IPS. So basically, it's an Exige with a flappy paddle gearbox. Um, so I'm very excited because I love the Exige. And naturally, having an Elise, the next step you want is an Exige. And I've never driven one before. So this is going to be a big, big step. And it's the first time we're going to do laps of the full circuit. And later on, we're going to take the Exige Cup. Ah, like full-blown race car out so we're sort of working our way up um, the Lotus sort of lineup so started off with that now I'm gonna drive that and then inside this building is the race car which we'll take out later see you on the other side Exige Cup R, correct? Danny? We are, Danny, yes. We are trying to get in the Exige We're trying car. to get in. I'm all strapped in already with this it's harness. It's cozy, isn't it? Yeah, God, it can't, really can't go anywhere. But this is my view right now. Uh, I've just been told that to put it into gear, I have to press this button, pull there. We've got a clutch to pull away. So once you've gone, it's literally just with the paddles, um, like a normal flanky paddle gearbox. But look at this roll cage, everything. My phone just chilling. That's not going to stay there before you guys comment. <laughs> That's what we want. <laughs> oh yeah, that's cool. This is gonna be this is gonna be good fun. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> Can't wait. Just turn, turn the key. Turn the keys. Right. Push the button, pull the panel. Right. Let's get this spider here. That's it. Get it out.
my car now, in a bit of a weird position, I know. <laughs> but it's Back because I came out of the race car and I've just been told I'm allowed to take my car on track, so we're setting up the cameras in my car. You see the GoPro back there. Right, here we go. Lotus 7 to base. So we're gonna get a little bit of a history lesson, aren't we? They're gonna give us a history lesson on the track. So we're just pulling on now. Yep, you are clear to go. Yeah. So this is a test track at Lotus Hethel where we run the Lotus Driving Academy. We also test all of our cars on here with the ride and handling guys. Uh, this is part of the history of the circuit and the history of the, uh, the, the site that we've been here for. We've been here yeah. now for 50 years. Uh, 2016 is our 50th year in Hethel. Okay, so this is like 50th year anniversary. It's exactly, the, uh, exactly that. Uh, each of our cars, your car, you are literally now bringing it home because it will have done its first naught to two, three, yeah. four miles on this track while it was being bed in cool. and tested. We do run the Lotus Driving Academy on track here where customers can come and do exactly the sort of stuff you've been doing yeah. today. Um, uh, which I highly recommend. <laughs> yes, good, good, good. It's, uh, it's been good fun. Uh, this part uh, we're now coming through is called Windsock Corner, okay. uh, which again harks back to our history. This is an old US Air Force base, oh. so uh, what you're coming down now is an old straight of a runway, uh, and over the years we've played around with it. Uh, the story goes back in the 60s that Colin flew his little private plane up from London, did a lap in the sky around here, landed on the runway, and then side the check and, uh, and bought the place and moved really? everyone up here. Yeah, so that's a cool story. It's got a lot of uh, a lot of history here. Yeah. Uh, Jim Clark's driven cars around here. Nigel Mansell's driven cars around here. And Senna's driven around here. Fitter Paldi, uh, Kimi Raikkonen, uh, yeah, Roman Grosjean. All of the big names that have ever driven a Lotus has been driven here. Yeah. All of them test driven. Every single car since 1966 has been handmade in Hethel on this site yeah. and then the majority of those will get their first run in and their first few hours of uh, life around this track. That's really special. back in we're about to go for a little factory tour so i can see how my car was built how this 220 cup was built and this 220 cup r as well which is not road legal by the way how they were all built so that's gonna be interesting sadly i can't film so i figured i might as well end the vlog here because i'm basically just going to uh, go in have a little tour then drive back to the hotel and edit this video so yeah but i just wanted to say thank you all so much for watching today was a really really special day which is 100 percent down to you guys and your support i wouldn't be able to do this without you guys so yeah just a huge thank you and i can't wait because tomorrow we are going to be doing more of this so look out for the next vlog that will be coming because it's going to be a pretty special one anyways thanks i'll see you soon cheers Bye. This is our current view, which is brilliant because I can get good shots, but then I can do this. And there's that artsy like flower in the foreground shot. I know. You should, you should, I, I can teach you. If you want, I'm free on Tuesdays, I can give you lessons from. Nice lessons, I hope. Yeah. <laughs>